Welcome to Laser Headquarters here in Harlow, uh, UK. Today, I'm delighted to be explaining the new product, Canny. Canny is a device which is used to help activate auxiliary lights on those vehicles which are using CAN communication. So some modern vehicles don't have a 12 volt signal to the back of the high beam bulb. So for example, the Transporter T6.1 has LED headlights and it's got CAN wires only controlling the activation of those high beam lights. So on this vehicle, you would need a CAN reader. Similar for the VW Amarok, this vehicle has got the IQ light. This is a matrix system. On this vehicle as well, we don't have a standard 12 volt pickup at the back of the headlights. So we developed our own solution for reading the can because we wanted a waterproof engine bay mounting solution. It can also mount, of course, inside the cabin, but generally speaking, customers would mount it in the engine bay because it's so much quicker to do the install we have prioritized developing the recipe for each vehicle where there's clearly a time saving for installation. So for example, on the VW T6.1, we're saving up to an hour and a half of installation time by keeping the can reader in the engine bay because it's waterproof. Or it's those difficult vehicles where there isn't a can reader already on the market. So Canny is coming with a small wiring kit that allows you to wire the device into the vehicle in a safe way. That means it's got a fused 12 volt supply. Additionally, we're supplying the very high quality waterproof crimps. The module itself has got a waterproof Molex connector, so automotive spec. In terms of the features for the Canny, so we've got four outputs on the Canny. So we can activate not just the high beam, but we can also activate position light. In terms of the four outputs, they are one amp outputs. So that means that it is enough to power the position light without needing an additional wiring harness. You can take the one amp output directly from the canny and you can power the position light on your lamps. For the high beam, of course, it's more powerful than one amp. So the customer would need to be setting the output of the canny to trigger the vehicle wiring kit that would need to be installed. There are also some small features to enable cable tie mounting onto the vehicle in the engine bay without difficulty. The canny dongle is coming with a serial number and QR code which is specific to the canny dongle. There's a supporting app which is downloadable from the Play Store or App Store canny.lzr and that app is the real brains behind controlling your canny. A lot of vehicle makers using can to control their vehicle systems they might make an over-the-air update on the vehicle then there's a risk that a previously installed can device is uh, not then working so actually with the canny we're able to do an over-the-air update and we can make sure that regardless if the vehicle maker changes the CAN signals in their vehicle, CANI will always be able to update and activate those auxiliary lights that have been mounted. So I'm going to talk you through the process for the app, but essentially you would download the app, you then have the chance to set up new CANI device. We're then scanning the QR code and straight away it's telling us that we are ready to download the vehicle specific instructions. I can now connect to it through uh, the app on my phone. So I'm gonna proceed with the selected vehicle, which is the T6.1. I'm gonna search for the Canny in the Bluetooth device list. Immediately it's come up. I then hit the pair button it's then asking me for the code and that pin number is a six digit code and it is specific to the device. So it's written on the canny and it's also written on the box uh, of the canny. So we've now got visibility of what is going on within the brain of the dongle. 
and I can see from the app on my phone that channel one is specified as being high beam. So that means when the uh, stalk is pulled and the high beam is turned on, we're gonna see it work on the app and the lights are gonna come on. But I can also uh, connect to manual mode. So if I want to turn on the lights manually, uh, I can enter that specific mode on channel one and I can then turn on and off the lights from the app on my phone. And this is quite useful because it's a nice way to make sure that the wiring is all done as you expected and so on. That gives you a good idea about the benefits of the Canny device. We're really excited about it. It's a fantastic product and I hope that you find it uh, as fast and easy to install as we've intended it to be. For any more information, please do check out our website or our social media channels. Thank you very much.